People travel down this road every single day right next to the Tarpon Inn, a de hot destination right off the beach here in Port Aransas. But some people say that it is haunted, that it has paranormal activity that some of the visitors haven't checked out yet. From disembodied voices to shadow people to being touched, there's been multiple tragedies on this property. And we're going to go in and we're going to see what actually is going on here and what evidence we can capture right here on South Texas Haunts. So stay tuned because you just don't know what we're going to find. My name is Morgan Ortegon. I am a front desk position full time and I just started not too long ago. When I first started the doors, um, I always have trouble opening the doors. Literally, I would stand there for five minutes finicking with the lock and then my head desk manager would come over and just open it real quick. And I, I, was, I felt stupid. <laughs> my name is Amy Van Winkle. I am the general manager of the property. The Turpin Inn was actually built as Civil War barracks in 1856. It was for the Union soldiers because the Union actually had control over the port. After the Civil War, it sat empty for a little while, and then in 1886, it was turned into a hotel for the first time. But we've had um, special guests stay here. It's rumored that Hemingway stayed here. Um, FDR was here. He never stayed here, but he did send the first telegram from the island. I've experienced EVPs. I have a pretty clear EVP of someone saying, we're watching you in room 40. Rocking chairs rocking, which I didn't believe the other day till I physically saw it myself. I thought it was the wind. Um, walking. Uh, you hear walking all the time. In the winter time, you'll hear like little kids running up and down the porch, but there's nobody here but I know there's, there is stuff here and there is stuff that does happen. Because how do you know my name first name on the job kind of thing? Um, and not even like my, my real name, because Morgan's not even my real name. So okay. it's like... It was something that somebody shouldn't have known down here. But they, but they knew, did. yeah. Okay. So it, it kind of, once again, it like reaffirmed the idea of there's, there's stuff out there. Mm -hmm. So here we are at the Tarpon Inn still. We are in room 29. 29 is the honeymoon suite. It is said that turn of the century, a man and a woman who got married decided to come to Port Aransas and have their honeymoon. They stayed one night and then all of a sudden the husband decided he was going to go out. Now there's two stories. One story says he went out for a drink and a smoke. Second story is he went out selling with his friends. So, for three nights, his wife looked and watched. He never came back. So on that third night, she hung herself from the banister. So, people still say they can see her wandering around the honeymoon suite. Will that happen to us tonight? Only time will tell. Here we are entering the Roosevelt Suite. He had stayed here numerous times and this suite was actually named after him. Um, it is rumored that in this, in this room, a little girl has been seen. And people that stay in this room will leave quarters for her. Um, it has also been noticed that there has been shadows multiple times and if you follow me this way you will see where the bedroom sleeping area is it has been said that people that have stayed here that have slept on this bed covers have been pulled off of them uh, they felt like someone was touching them um, at one time uh, a lady that had stayed here had gone into the restroom and she could not get that door to open. It was, it was as though something was holding it and she was here by herself. 
So here we are at the Tarpon Inn at room 42. Room 42 is the last room on this end of the property. There was many floods that happened here back in the 1919s. And it's said that when you're in this room, you can be touched by somebody who isn't there. There's been shadow figures. There was even a lady who was in the shower who only heard voices when the water was running. Makes sense because of the floods. They were telling her to get out of the way because the water was coming. And also there was a suicide in the room next door. So that activity leaks over into this room. Let's go in and check it out. I know it was tragic what they say happened to you. I'd like to hear your side. Did you knock on the bed? They say that you hung yourself. after being distraught from your husband being gone for three days. Is that really what happened? Can you tell us your name? What was your husband's name? Stand by me. You can pull my hair, touch my hair. Can you tell me what color shirt Sean is wearing? flicker when this I know when I messed with this it, it did why is there anybody here that want to make the presence known tonight to us
probably should let the room record itself for a little while. If there's anybody in here with us tonight, uh, can you please just make a noise, knock on the door, or do something, let us know you're here. I wonder how long ago it was when someone first sighted this small child. You know, the first, first sighting of the small child. I don't know, it's not dated anywhere. Mm -mm. It just says that people have seen a small child or somebody's it looks like a small child. But even before the hurricanes and before the barracks and before this hotel was built, it was also Indian land. It was Kalanko Indian land. Is there anybody here that wants to make their presence known? Molly, are you here with us? What is your name? in here with me tonight? If so, can you make a noise? Let me know you're here. This is a really nice room. Did you used to stay here? Can you tell me your name? are you? Or if I tell you my age, will you tell me your age? Okay, so we did an investigation at Tarpon Inn in Port Aransas, Texas. Tarpon Inn is known for its history. It's been around for a very long time. The Civil War barracks at one time. It's, you know, made it through some floods. It's made it through some fires. Um, so we were there investigating. The first set of evidence we're going to go over is in the FDR suite. Okay. In the FDR suite, there is said to be a little child by the name of Molly who messes around up there. She moves things around. Um, the name Molly just came from staff within Tarpanen. It's nothing historical. It's just a name they came up with. So when we're up there, uh, one of the first questions we normally ask is, how old are you? Or if I tell you my age, will you tell me your age? Right. And this is what this one's going to be. So you get a real clear 42. And an 11 in between us talking. 
So that was pretty interesting to think that there might be an 11 year old child in there right. who people say they see, who they think things are moving, being moved and things like that. Um, here we are kind of getting ready towards the end of the night. We're getting ready to leave and I'm just having a general conversation kind of like, why do you want us to leave? If not, I can't just hang around here to hang around here and we're going to capture a wait. And it's right there. So we get that wait. And then here we get, of course, we ask the question, what is your name? What is your name? And you get a real clear right there. So that's kind of, I found that interesting. Um, now we'll go through some of the video that we caught, captured. So we'll do room 29 first. Uh, 29 is also the honeymoon suite. Right. Um, so we're in there and we're doing kind of a EVP session and this is when electricity starts messing up. And so we get giggling right as you come back in the room. I'll play it again. Okay. Um, the light is the Why would the light flicker on this? But it's almost like a child snicker. Yeah, it's almost like um, it's not like a child. Which is something we've captured before at Tarpon Inn in that room. Right. But you can see the confusion on y'all's faces, like, because I'm over here, but you can mm -hmm. see the confusion of, like, well, why is it when we mess with this piece of equipment? The lights. lights. Right. And which the equipment should not have any type of interference with it at all. I mean, and if it would, the whole night it would have been doing right. that. Right. So this one here, of course, again, we're asking. And you hear Margaret come across right about here. And so I think what we had done is we had had the conversation that, okay, let me, I'll tell you my name. Right. If you tell me yours. And before you could even say what your name was, it was telling you it what your name me. was. Yeah. Wow. So this again is just going to be noise. And at this point, there's nobody in the room. Yeah. So again, in a room, there's nobody in. We're getting some sort of movement, some sort of noise. And to me, it sounds like it's distant. So to me, yeah. I would assume that it's in the living space mm -hmm. of the room. Exactly. And this right here is the camera. So. Hmm. And we get a real quiet what? And this yeah. is when we were using the new piece of equipment that takes out kind of the white noise for us. Right. And so we were testing it to see if we could actually get it to do what we needed it to do. And there's not really any background noise. Uh, we hadn't asked any really any questions at this point. It was just setting up stuff and seeing what would happen. And we get the what. And it's a real definite what. Male. Right. Like, what are you doing in this room? What are you doing here? You don't belong here. But, or they could just be like, hey, what's going on? You yeah. know? So yeah, that was pretty much the evidence that we got for Tarpon Inn. Um, I wouldn't say the Tarpon Inn is haunted by any means. 
I think that there's just a lot of residual activity that happens because of the history of the property. Oh, I would agree. Everything like that. I mean, there's... A lot of residual. Right. Yeah, people from the Civil War era, early 1900s. I mean, it's been everything. It survived two, two or three floods. It's survived fire. Right. So there's a lot of energy in general on the property. In the end, it leaves us with more questions of what is here, what isn't here. Right. Um, and somewhere we could probably possibly investigate again to see if we get some corresponding evidence. I know that we got the giggling one other time before. Mm -hmm. I think footsteps are something that's pretty common. Uh, you'll hear a story they tell is that they have guests that will say, hey, can you tell those kids to stop running around outside? Right. And they look on the cameras and there's no kids running yeah. around outside. Yeah. So, and also the footsteps, the pacing back and forth could be a Civil War soldier who's on duty oh, walking the yeah. property. So, who knows? So, as usual, it leaves more questions than answers. And so, you know, on to the next. Let's go. Let's go. Well, that wraps up this investigation here at the Tarpon Inn. It's definitely an amazing place with maybe a few restless spirits. So, if you're looking for a nice place to stay here in Port Aransas, come check it out. Check them out on Facebook. Also, if you want more information about South Texas Haunts, please go to our website at www.southtexashaunts.com. And we will see you next time on South Texas Haunts.